Talking about the Eastern Illinois women's basketball team, they opened the season Friday with a game at Evansville. Joining us is the new coach of the Panthers, Debbie Black. She's in her first year here at EIU. And Debbie, before we talk about the team, let's talk a little bit about yourself. I know you played at St. Joseph, played in the WNBA, been at Ohio State for the last several years. Uh, yes, I've had um, I've been, probably my career is mostly playing, eight years as an assistant, 18 years as a professional. And um, sorry about my voice, that's what happens when you're coaching. But um, yeah, it's been a great career. And now I'm on my next step of my, my future. This is your first head coaching job that I'm aware of, at least. What is the, uh, the adjustment coming from an assistant coach at Ohio State to a head coach at Eastern Illinois? Well, you know, I think any time you go from an assistant coach to a head coach, it's you're now running the show. You're not just sitting back giving suggestions. You're actually making decisions. So it's the difference between maybe being a point guard and an off guard. Point guard makes decisions, an off guard kind of goes along with the flow. So I'm making adjustments as far as this is the, the team's going to run the way I want it to run. Now the team was is was kind of set in a way when you got here. I mean, you came in a little bit late in the recruiting season, I suppose, and so it was I assume a little bit rushed, kind of getting recruited in place and getting set for this year. Well, you know what? We had we have a core of we lost a lot of seniors, but we have a core of, you know six or seven upperclassmen who haven't played a lot, but we're figuring out, you know, where they go, and you're correct. Recruiting, we haven't brought anybody new in, but we have the players that were here, and they're really doing a good job. Let's talk about then some of those players who figured to be kind of the key players we're going to see on the court a lot, at least early in the season. Well, you can't really go past Sabi. Sabi started last year. She's played, you know, a lot of minutes. Terrific, terrific player at the four and five. She's going to have a, I think they're going to have a hard time matching up with her. She can do a lot of things. She can shoot the three, go off the dribble, make decisions. Um, really solid player. And you can't go past Jordan. Jordan Crunk. Jordan Crunk's our point guard. She's going to lead the ship. So as far as Jordan goes, you know, she understands that. She knows that she has to um, do what she needs to do to get this team successful. Are there any uh, new players or maybe kids that haven't played a lot in the past who uh, are going to make a big impact that maybe the fans aren't that uh, knowledgeable about right now? Well, yeah, Taryn, Taryn and Morgan, both are seniors. You're going to see a lot of them. Um, Arnisha is a, a junior college transfer. You're going to see her. She's going to be an impact player immediately. So, and then we have a, a couple guards and the freshmen, Aaliyah and Georgia, who you're going to see really help us. About how many people then do you think would be in the main rotation to start the year? Seven or eight. And it stays that way all year long, I guess, or does it ever expand past that? You know, um, that's a good question. I think it expands if they can figure it out. They determine if it expands. They think coaches determine that. You determine that at practice, how you're playing, if you know the plays, if, you're, if you give us effort. Because our theme for this year is effort. We're talking with EIU women's basketball coach Debbie Black. I know effort is what was sort of your hallmark as a player. You were nicknamed the pest, and I, I, I guess you're proud of that. Oh, you got to be kidding. You know what? If the other team had to worry about me, I wasn't a great scorer. I didn't do a lot of things. I'm not terribly tall. I'm not terribly athletic. But I played the game hard with passion. And if the other team's worried about me because I'm playing that way, you did something well. As far as the style of play for this team, other than that sort of intensity you're talking about right there, is there a style you have in mind? I mean, up-tempo, half-court, anything like that? You know, we have an interesting group. First of all, we're pretty big. We're big at all positions. The other thing is we can shoot, we can flat-out shoot. When our feet are set, we have some really good attributes. We need to, we need to understand as a team what we do well. So you're saying up-tempo, I like to push it. We have a 10-second rule this year, so we need to cross that half court line, but also take good shots, not quick shots. So that's kind of the philosophy. Defense is defense, play it or sit. What have been the, I guess, the adjustments for you personally coming into this job? I, I would think you've been at the major level for the last seven years and now you're moving to the mid-major level. I would think that would be at least somewhat of an adjustment. Um, you know, I guess the adjustment is, I mean, the game of any sport, it's just a matter of playing it hard. The adjustment is probably a little bit more letting these guys know how good they are. There's a sense of that they don't think they're as good as they are. So I think there's a little bit more confidence they need 
as opposed to maybe at a higher level when you're eighth grade, you're recruited at all the major schools. You're kind of already told how good you are. These guys are pretty darn good. I played at all levels. I coached at a high level. They just need more reassurance. That's about it. Let's uh, look ahead on the schedule now. Friday night, you're at Evansville to open the year. Do you have any idea about the Evansville team you're going to be facing? Well, yeah, Evansville, is a, they're kind of a young team, six or seven freshmen. Um, they lost their leading scorer. They lost four seniors, I believe. They're going to be a little bit of a young team, but I know I kind of got a feel from the tape, their style of play. We just need to go in and take care of what we do well, as every coach says, I'm sure, but that's kind of how I feel and establish who we are, Eastern Illinois. And then looking on past that on the non-conference schedule, you have a lot of Missouri Valley teams, a lot of Illinois and Midwest schools. You've got really a nice regional schedule, it looks like, at least from a fan's perspective, to start the year. Maybe not a coach's perspective. You know, I, don't, I like that. I don't mind that. And first of all, that's where we want to recruit from. We want our base from this area. We're not trying to get them from, you know, other places. So I like people to know who we are, what we're about, and let's see what we can do. We'll, uh, we'll wish you good luck on Friday night. Thank you very much. Thank you.